All right, Tech Buyers Guru here at the Cooler Master Suite at CES 2019. First thing I'm going to show you is these are these brand new high-end keyboards, the SK651, the 631, and the 621. We've got a full size, we've got the 10 keyless, and then this new format, which is a 65 key keyboard. Uh, these are all not only PC compatible, but also Mac and Android compatible. They all have Bluetooth built in. They are all wireless. They all are RGB. And amazingly enough, Cooler Master even got in on Cherry's new MX low profile switches. You can see that these are not standard mechanical switches. They are low profile. Let me see if I can pop one off here. That is Cherry's MX low profile. So that's how they were able to come up with this, these new super sleek form factors for their wireless keyboards. They're quoting uh, up to four months of battery life without your RGB on and about 14 hours with it on, which is, is pretty reasonable. RGB uses a ton of power, so it's, it's tough to run on a wireless keyboard. Um, the first one to come out is actually the smallest one, the 621. This is going to be $120 price point. Moving on up, the 10 keyless is going to be $140 in Q2. And then the big kahuna, the 651, the full key gaming keyboard is going to be $160 coming in Q3. Okay, moving on to cases. We have the new NR line. This replaces the venerable N line. So this is the NR600, which is going to be the largest of the cases. It's got a mesh front. And actually, this is a micro mesh, so it acts as a filter and, and panel in one. That's all one piece. And being shown behind it is a new th a three-in-one fan unit. This is a really unique product. Cooler Master has designed fan. Let me see if I can pull this cover off. Yep. This is one a one piece unit. So you can you can set this up and the reason they've gone with these there's no seam these this is all one one product. Okay, three fans in one. The reason they've done this is because you only need one set of ARGB cables and one set of power cables. You can see it right there. Okay, if you have this many fans and they're all separate fans, you've got six cables. They've reduced that down to two. So anywhere where you can fit a, a 360 millimeter radiator or 320 millimeter fans, you'll be able to use this product. Cooler Master is doing some really great things with compact PCs. They've actually pushed out their their uh, 300 series. This is now called the Q500L, and this is amazing. This is an adaptation of the of the Q300. This is an adaptation of Q300. This Q500 is ATX compatible, right? You can fit a full ATX motherboard in this tiny, tiny case. The way they've done it is they've, they've changed the location of the power supply to the front, much like, much like their very high-end SL600 case. So this gives you the option of having this tiny micro ATX footprint, but with a full ATX case. And here is an upgraded version of the Q500. This is going to be called the Q500P. This is a this is a prototype at the moment, and it actually has a very innovative fabric front panel. This is this is fabric, kind of like a speaker, um, which allows you to have that solid front that a lot of people like, but still allow plenty of airflow through. So that's that's one option they're considering. They also have a brushed aluminum. This is brushed aluminum up here. And they're also considering just a standard steel chassis top. Um, so this is going to be the same thing. You can see that this is a full ATX motherboard inside this very, very small case, which would otherwise be really considered a, a micro ATX case. But it's a higher end version with a higher end finish. So Cooler Master does have a brand new power supply coming out. It's the XG series. And what's really great about the XG series is, or unique, is that Cooler Master has actually designed its own circuit board. As you'll see here, let me see if I can get that. See that? That's a Cooler Master PCB inside this power supply. And what's amazing about it is how 
they've increased the size of the capacitor and yet decreased tremendously the amount of clutter inside the power supply, allowing for much better airflow and therefore cooler temperatures, lower noise, and longer life. This is going to be a gold certified PSU. It's, it's a compact ATX unit. So here's the XG750 with that custom PCB inside. Look how much air, you really get a ton of airflow through that because there's so little mounted inside there. And you've got this sleek RG, uh, LED panel. So that really brings PSUs kind of into the LED age. It's still not RGB. They haven't yet integrated RGB into that side panel, but the fan itself will have RGB lights there. So I also want to show you the SL600. It's not a brand new case, but it looks great. It's on display here. This is this uses what Cooler Master is uh, using is referring to as kind of a vertical airflow design. The power supply is mounted right here. You have airflow dual dual fans down here. You can see you can see them spinning right there. You got the vertical airflow through your liquid cooler through your GPU, then through your liquid cooler and out the top through this vented area. It's a very cool new design in ATX cases, and I think it's going to take off because it's, it gives you that really sleek exterior look that people are going for nowadays with amazing cooling capability. One last thing we want to show you here at the Cooler Master booth. It's not a brand new product, but it might as well be the highlight of the show. This, of course, is their Cosmos C700M which TechBuyers Guru considers the best case on the market. It's beautiful, it's modular in design, and it provides excellent airflow. There's really nothing else like it in, in the world. This has a curved glass panel and really shows off the ARGB effects while still providing excellent performance. So if you're looking for a super premium experience in a high-end ATX case, this is the one you want. All aluminum, aluminum, glass, it feels great, it looks great, it performs great, it really is at the top of its class and the ultra-premium category.